So Neil, we're here at DMG Morris Open House in Coventry. Uh, the event's running today, tomorrow and Thursday. Uh, CMX 800V is a vertical machining centre. Now I know a lot of the uh, a lot of the machines in focus here have got automation and there's going to be loads coming out on our channels over the coming days on this event. But this one, uh, as the as the uh, gentlemen move away, is your vertical machining centre, isn't it? Three axis, still a big seller. Yeah, it is, yeah, it's really good. But, and also we do CMX 600V, 800V and 1100V. We do it with Fanuc, Siemens and Hyde So we've got virtually all, most of it covered. Again, we do it with a variation of spindles, 15,000 RPM, up to 12,000 as standard, 30 tools as standard, 60 tools as an option. Now, now, one of the reasons I pointed this machine out is there's, there's two things I want to look at here in detail, because you'll think vertical machining centre, I can go to no end of suppliers to purchase them, and you'd agree with that, there is oh, yeah. lots in the oh, market. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But one of the points here is I want to talk to you about your Y axis. Now, your table is, is fixed in the Y, and you'll see at the back the casting at the back there. Tell us about why you've built the machine like this. Okay, well, if you look at it closely, you can see that the, it doesn't matter how far out the Y axis comes. So when it comes out to its maximum travel, it's always supported. So it's as rigid when it's extended to its maximum as it, as it is when it's further back. You can look at a lot of other designs and the further out they come, not only do they sag, they lose rigidity. Does it also mean that you can fit uh, the machine into a smaller footprint and still maintain that, that extended Y axis? Yeah, of course you can, yeah. Because of the buttress, the buttress support, it, so you, it will net the, the support and the shoes that run on the Y axis will never go past the edge. So it's supported all the way from the, from the minimum all the way out to the maximum. Okay, right, the, the next point here I want to talk about, Neil, is the tool changer. This is, this is again, a lot of the VMCs you see don't have, some of the five axis and the multitasking machines do, but the VMCs don't often have them, the tools outside of the working area yeah. like this. Yeah, that's right. You see a lot of them and they're like what we call an umbrella or wheel type, which are in the working area. Um, and what happens then is you get swarf that falls onto the tool. Okay, they'll have an air blast that may blow it off, but it might not, but we just don't get that problem because once the door's shut, it's not exposed to the working area. So we don't get any swarf or any contamination of the tools. Yeah, a real advantage. Okay, and I did say that I was just going to mention two points, Neil, but I, I am going to mention a third here as well. You may have touched on it already, but your control systems here that you offer with these machines, can you tell us what the options are? Yeah, we do. as you can see on this machine, this is a Heidenheim, and we call it a multi-touch uh, control because there are very minimum buttons on here, so it's a big um, touch screen control. This one's Hyde 9, we also do Siemens 840D, and we also do Fanuc with maps, which come from our Japanese uh, Japanese factories. So what we're saying is that even though the emphasis of this show is about bringing stuff back from Emo with the automation, even if it is just that three-axis machine that people are interested in, there's something different here to see at the DMG Mori open house. And Don, I know you want to say one more thing. Also, let's not forget, we can fit this machine from the right hand side with the PH150 as you've seen earlier and with the WH3 system as well so this can be fitted with workpiece handling or pallet handling as well. So whether it be uh, a single machine like this or one that's geared up for automation come and see it here this week at DMG Morris Open House. Thank you very much Neil. Thank you Paul.